What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube horror movie channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button, subscribe to the channel, as well as shoot that notification icon so you get all of this content updates to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the possibility of Corey Cunningham being the new shape in future Halloween films. And though I know this theory may be unpopular, I'm going to point out key facts that might persuade you to believe this possibility to be very real. But before I get into it, let's hit that intro. Now watching a shot in six times. YouTube are leaving I shot him six times. Okay everyone, if you'll watch Halloween Ends or haven't but already know all of the spoilers to this movie, then you know that Corey Cunningham's character was the main focal point, much to the dismay of many fans. After accidentally killing a kid he was babysitting on Halloween night, he eventually meets Michael Myers in the sewers where Michael has been staying the last four years to where we see Michael transfer the evil that is inside of him to Corey via eye contact, prompting Corey to go down a dark path ending with him killing everyone who ever did him wrong, even stealing Michael Myers' mask in the process, becoming the copycat Michael Myers. In the final act of the film, we see Corey harm himself to frame Laurie Strode for his death, but when Michael Myers arrives at Laurie to retrieve his stolen mask, Corey, after seemingly being dead, grabs Michael's arm when Michael goes for the knife, a last gasp of life if you want to say that, before Michael ends up snapping Corey's neck. Now, I know many of you on first thought would like to think or say, no way Corey survived the neck snapping, right? Well, it's actually not that simple. We have to keep in mind that Michael transferred the evil that is inside of him into Corey. Why does this matter, you may ask? It matters because Corey having that same evil inside of him gives him a lot of the same strength and a lot of the same traits, movements, and mannerisms as Michael Myers has. And we see this throughout the film after the transfer takes place. From Corey killing, to him walking exactly like Michael Myers, slow paced and methodical, to him doing Michael's classic sit up after falling off the radio station roof, stalking Lori, to disappearing into thin air after his stepfather is killed, Corey inherited many of the traits we see the same evil give Michael Myers throughout the franchise. Let's also keep in mind that Laurie shot Corey twice, he fell down a flight of stairs, and he suffered a self-inflicted puncture wound to the neck and was still alive, showing that he can be intolerable to pain and injuries that would normally kill a human being, much like we've seen with Michael Myers for so many years throughout the franchise. But aside from all those key points that I just made, the two most important things that makes this theory very possible is Laurie's line at the end of the movie about evil never dies, it just changes shape. And David Gordon Green himself saying though it wasn't intentional, Halloween End's story keeps the door open for more of this story to be told, implying that if David Gordon Green were to come back and do more Halloween films, Corey Cunningham would be the new shape and we can assume we'll be picking back up with Allison Nelson as the new Laurie Strode and finishing off with this story in his timeline. I don't believe David Gordon Green puts that line about evil changing shape and admitting the story leaves the door open for future films if the thought of Corey being the new shape in the future films wasn't a real possibility. Again guys, I know this theory will be very unpopular. Another thing to take note of though is before I finish up this video is that the mask and the overall signify the shape. Michael Myers quote unquote was the man in the mask as said by Corey Cunningham himself. Though us fans will always see Michael Myers as the one and only shape, what David Gordon Green did in Halloween Ends is make Michael Myers and the shape two different entities. By portraying Michael as just the man in the mask, and having Corey take it from him with no issue, one can make the argument that David Gordon Green was telling us, the audience, the fans, anyone can be the shape. Meaning, if he were to do future Halloween films, picking up after Halloween ends, 
it would be no surprise seeing Corey Cunningham once again donning the shapes costume, which would solidify the change in shape line at the end of the movie by Lori. I'm not saying this is something I personally want to see, but the more that I think about the dialogue, David Gordon Green's comments, and how Michael Myers was portrayed in Halloween Ends, the more that I believe this might actually have been the plan from David Gordon Green all along in terms of trying to get different with the Halloween franchise and really put his own imprint on the franchise, especially if he wanted to do more Halloween movies beyond Halloween Ends. I can definitely see him taking this direction with Corey Cunningham, and like he said, though it was unintentional, this story definitely leaves the door open for more movies to be made following this character and Alison Strode's character. But okay everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on the possibility of Corey Cunningham potentially being the new shape in future Halloween movies in the Halloween franchise. Do you agree with it? Do you dis disagree with it? Hit the comment section below and let me know your guys' thoughts. I would love to hear from you all. Once again, this is I Shot Him Six Times, YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button, guys. It really helps out the channel. As well, shoot that notification bell so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.